Critics charge that this is all an effort to compromise the special counsel, Robert Mueller, and the one man who could fire him, Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. The president was asked if the memo makes him more likely to fire Rosenstein. You figure that one out. And that was Lana Zach reporting. Let's bring in our senior Washington correspondent, Dan Raviv, and our senior national correspondent, Michael Shore. And Dan, first to you, any follow-up to the White House over these questions about whether the president might actually use this memo to fire Rod Rosenstein and then therefore short-circuit, perhaps, the Russia investigation? You figure that one out, David. No, <laughs> um, Great the answer. White House officials are indicating that they are indicating that's not what it's about. They say that the president is not thinking of firing Rosenstein. Of course, they're making it seem like uh, on this day before he left for Mar-a-Lago, Florida, finally to relax, maybe get away from all this, maybe do some tweeting. We'll see. Uh, he was happy that the memo released and here's why his spokeswoman sarah sanders uh, put out a statement the memo raises serious concerns about the integrity of decisions made at the very top of the department of justice and the fbi 